16 police officers and five civilians were indicted today in a massive ticket-fixing scandal that rocked the NYPD. Hundreds of police officers lined up hours before the arraignment to show their support. The police officers were charged after a three-year investigation. Prosecutors began looking into the case after Officer Jose Ramos was suspected of associating with drug dealers. The investigation uncovered more than 300 ticket-fixing cases. Members of the Police Benevolent Association rallied outside the courthouse following the arraignment. In the crowd was NYPD Detective Stephen McDonald, who was shot and paralyzed while on duty in 1986. During the rally, PBA President Patrick Lynch defended the officer. What we're here for today is the fact that a courtesy has now turned into a crime, and that's wrong. Something that is institutional in the NYPD and accepted has now landed on the shoulders of New York City police officers. This is accepted at all ranks for decades. A former chief of patrol said that it's been going on for his long 35 year career and 135 years before that. Taking care of your family, taking care of your friends, taking care of those that support New York City police officers and law enforcement is not a crime. <laughs> All of the police officers except for Ramos have made bail. Bail has been set for Ramos at $500,000.